All right, this is Jesse Davis of AskAnExpertWholesaler.com. AskAnExpertWholesaler.com. I'm sorry about the quality of the video, but AskAnExpertWholesaler.com. Uh, what I got here today, I'm out at a house that um, it's one of my cheapo houses that I do, uh, where I take and buy it cheap, turn around, own or finance it for somebody, and let them do a lot of the work, and uh, works real well for me. Now, a lot of people don't want to do it, and that's why I get them, get houses like this one which is a 3-1 really really cheap I mean just for you know a few thousand bucks uh, get a house turn around owner finance you put a sign out here I don't have my sign but I put a, a sign out here say hey owner finance available and I'll get calls on it and talk to people when you gotta find the right person that wants to do the work but uh, you know you provide uh, housing they're paying rent 450, 500, 600 bucks around here uh, rent and I'm, I may finance them a house for 150 bucks a month uh, for six years or something like that, and um, they got to do some work on the house. But hey, you know they 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 put a little sweat equity in the into a house. They got a payment like 150 bucks, and they're buying a house. So uh, you know it's a great strategy. So what I want to talk about today though is uh, you know ways to get in the property. All right, now this is a this is my little tr bag of tricks, uh, my little bag um, that I always use every now and again. Uh, to uh, get into properties, uh, and I'm going to show you right now. Right here uh, is a bag that I call my little break-in bag that you need to have with you any time that you're going out to properties. You know, you get a couple of these and a couple of these crowbar type things, and I've got a saw, I've got an extra camera in there. This little uh, scraper right here, you'd be amazed at how many houses you can get in with that and um, just pliers, screwdrivers, and these little flat bars right here. Um, I really like the flat bars. They get in the house. It's really, really quick. But anyways, in my line of work, when I'm dealing with a lot of foreclosures, houses that are vacant and stuff like that, they'll be um, boarded up like this house is. This house is boarded up, and as you can see. And I got to this house, and uh, there was a... Uh, trying to get in the house and I could and the keys were in the lockbox and um, couldn't get in the house uh, even with all my tools that I just showed you so uh, the other um, tool that I want to show you is a, is a tool that a lot of people take for granted and you got to be real real careful when you use it because uh, kind of makes people a little bit uh, antsy about what they're doing um, Anyways, uh, if you look right down here at this little thing right here, or actually, in my case, the big thing, is a foot. <laughs> now, this door, I'm going to just tell you right here, a little, little, little strategy when you're kicking in a door. Usually you want to take, and when I had worked on it, you can see right in there where I worked on that door, <laughs> trying to get it. Now, I'm not... Just, just so everybody knows, I'm not condoning breaking into houses. I'm just showing you every now and again you get a boarded up one or one you can't get in. This is what you do. And uh, by the way, I own this house too, so it's my house. I can do whatever I want to it. So I, I really don't care if nobody thinks. But uh, anyways, I got a little bit of temper every now and again. And so I was working on this thing. As you can see right in here, uh, it's all kind of messed up in there. Um, let's see if I can get a light on in there. Uh, see where I kind of busted that thing up, and um, and so I worked on it, worked on it, working, and finally I couldn't do it. So I put my tools down, and most of the time, if you're going to kick the door, you want to try to kick it right slap by the uh, the bolt thing. And of course, when I kicked it, obviously I busted in the, I just tore the slap whole slap uh, um facing off the, the window uh, the thing which wasn't very difficult I mean it's probably been kicked in before um, I will tell you test the door out that's that's basically what I'm trying to get to when you're trying to get into a property you can't get in and you need to take and kick the door all right and you got to kick a door in don't be like me I, I got out there one day had a guy want me to get in one of his houses and take a look and I, I called him I said hey man you know why why'd you call me out here I, I've drove out here I've wasted 30 minutes this is going to turn into an hour of wasted time for me and um, 
you know, because your key's not out here. You know, the guy just, he wanted me to buy the house so bad. He said, look, just get in the flipping house however you can. So I get all excited and I'm smiling laughing. Oh, yeah, I'm going to kick this door. I'm going to kick this door. I ran back. I said, oh, yeah, it's going to be just like the movies. I'm going to knock this door wide open. So I was sitting there and I reached back and uh, kicked the door in, tried to kick the door and I like to broke my foot. I mean, it just, my knee and everything just, I was, I was on the ground just going, oh, my gosh. Of course, I was looking around to see if anybody saw me. I was embarrassed and everything. So um, I ended up going to the truck and getting a sledgehammer, which that's the other key. Don't waste your time kicking. I mean, every now and again, it's fun to kick in a door if you can, but it's a lot easier just to get a dadgum sledgehammer. Keep it in your truck, and then when the door don't open, just pop it with a sledgehammer, and you won't bust your knees up and everything else. Because I will tell you this. A couple rules. Number one, test the door out. Because some of these doors, they ain't going to kick in. It ain't like TV, where everybody just kicks in doors and stuff. No. Nah. It ain't like that. You're going to kick one door and it ain't going nowhere. You're going to hurt yourself. Uh, and it's a really, really, really embarrassing thing. But, you know, you got to learn every now and again, or at least I do. So I'm trying to help you help you realize, hey, don't make the same mistakes as me. You know, when you're kicking in a door, make sure you test it first. Make sure it's kind of got a little give to it because some of these doors, you can tell it's solid. You ain't going to kick it open. So you're just wasting your time. Um, and then you just get a sledgehammer and uh, bust in the door. So. That's my little tip for today. Uh, every now and again, you're going to have to get into a property. Uh, there ain't nothing wrong with it. Again, I'm not telling anybody to break into nobody's house or nothing like that. Uh, but this is my house, and every now and again, you may have, when you're out there, you need a bag of tools uh, looking at houses so that you can get in them, just in case. Because, I mean, my time is valuable. And I'll call people up if they want me to look at their house, if it's a vacant house, and they want me to look at it and I can't get in. I'm going to sit there and just call them up and say, hey, look, you want me to buy this house? I need to get in right now. Do you have a problem with it? Most of them say, no, I'll get in however you need to. And most of the time, I don't have to bust the door in like I did with this one. But uh, every now and again, you do. So, But be careful. <laughs> have fun. That's what makes a business fun. I'm sitting out here kicking doors in and stuff like that. And people are looking at me going, geez, who's this guy? And now I'm sitting here recording myself. I got people walking down the street looking at me going, man, what the heck is this guy doing? But uh, anyways, just a fast, quick tip, man. Be careful when you kick in doors. It's a lot of fun. You do need to have your little break-in kit, so to speak, when you're going around your houses. That way you don't waste time. And, uh, and just until next time, I'll talk to you later. Remember, if you're not on my list, get some tips from askawholesaler.com. Ask a expert wholesaler.com. Uh, I've sold... Uh, it's 2008. I've sold 60 properties this year. In the past six months, I mean, I'm rocking them out. Uh, at six to, I'm, I'm actually out rocking out seven to ten properties a month uh, this year, really, really rolling. And um, so a lot of people uh, consider me an expert. I don't know if I am or not, but I do try to help people, and I've had so many people want me to call me and ask me questions. I just started videoing myself and just putting out some tips and, and, and things that I do uh, make me a lot of money. and and, uh, you know, allow me to uh, be successful in the real estate business and wholesaling. So, anyways, have fun with it. Be careful when you're kicking indoors, and every now and again when you get an opportunity, make sure you take it. <laughs> I'll see you next time.